Hello, my name is Steve Olson. I'm the manager of training services for Mesa and an Autodesk certified instructor. In this video, I'd like to share how to use Design Assistant to copy a project. So I've launched Design Assistant from going down to the Windows Start menu, going to Autodesk, the version of Inventor I'm using, and then Design Assistant. That gives me three different ways to use Design Assistant on the left-hand side here. Manage is what's going to allow us to copy the project. So I'm going to go to Manage. It's going to then need me to open up a model I want to work with. So I'm going to browse out to a location where I have a, an assembly that I've already created that I want to make a copy of. So it's setting me up here with the fact that I've got my assembly and all the parts that go into it. And right now under Action, there's none, meaning you know I'm, I haven't identified, do I want to rename, do I want to copy, what do I want to do? So if I right click in this column here, I can say copy, and I can do that all the way down the line here as well. Um, or I can even grab a couple and then say copy. It won't let you grab all of them at the same time. But now you can see here under modified, it says requires edit, meaning I need to give it a new name and possibly even a new save location. So under name here, I'll say change name, and I can then say, well, what do I want this new name to be? I'll just maybe give it to say new after that. And I can do the same process with each of these. Rename, just put a new here. So now that I have all these renamed, if I want to put them in a new subfolder, I can then do that as well. I could also grab all of these at the same time, say change path, and let's say I want to create a new subfolder here for my new project, for my new scissors. Um, so I can, here under my project, I can say make new folder, I'll call it new project. Say OK, and now you can see they're all moved to that new project subfolder. Once I have identified all the new names and all the uh, set all the paths up the way that I want, I basically sit, hit save. And it'll go through and commit all those. You'll see I get a message saying updates complete. And then just to prove that I can, here let me browse out to Inventor and show you where that's at now. So now here is my project file or where I have all my that project, that workspace. Here's that new project folder. And then there is all those parts and pieces with the, the new suffix and also the assembly that I can begin working on, and it won't affect the previous model. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at the email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.